What is the difference between sales and customer success and what does each role actually do? The purpose of sales is to acquire new customers for the organization. The purpose of customer success is to retain those customers and expand the partnership over time, essentially get them to spend more money. I've worked the first three and a half years of my career in software sales at a fast growing technology company, started out as a sales development representative, made 40,000 cold calls, worked my way up to an account executive. Many of you who've been watching the channel for a while already know that. Day in and day out, I work with customer success reps so I can share my perspective what they actually do, and if that career may be right for you. Undoubtedly, you will ask yourself the question at some point, is sales actually for me? It's really hard, it requires a lot of grit, a lot of persistence, you'll face a lot of rejection. So a lot of reps that I've worked with say, you know what, I don't know if I wanna work in sales, but I do wanna remain in technology. So what are the different career paths I can take? And one of the most viable is customer success. And I'm gonna to get to that here in a moment, what you would actually be doing and the purpose of it. But to begin for sales, essentially acquiring new customers, me as an account executive, my role is to generate revenue for my company by acquiring new customers. I have a list of 1,000 accounts and I need to identify who are the buyer personas in the account. So essentially the titles of the people who may actually benefit from my product. I cold call them, I send them emails, I try and get referrals, I message them on LinkedIn, I do whatever it takes to set up an initial meeting with them. I give them a demo after understanding why my solution may help them. I share pricing, I negotiate, and I hopefully close the deal. That is my role in sales. Although the skill set between sales and customer success may vary, ultimately the outcome is the same. It's to improve the revenue position of the company based on the clients they're working with. So customer success, there's a lot of parallels between what you would do on a day-to-day -day in sales, but you are not acquiring new customers. You are focused on retaining and expanding the existing customers you have. One of the key metrics all leadership teams look at in technology companies is CAC and CLV, cost of customer acquisition and customer lifetime value. Essentially, the customer lifetime value must be greater than the cost of acquisition or you're not gonna be profitable over time, which is why retention is so important. And the technology companies that really become dominant, like Salesforce, like Qualtrics, like Amazon, become platforms. And a platform means you sell multiple products. So the customer success manager works with the accounts to build the relationship. The skills that you need to have as a customer success representative is empathy, great listening skills, and superb communication as well. Because you're not transactional like a sales rep maybe. You're not just getting on a call, trying to do a quick upsell and say, hey, I'll talk to you in a year. You're setting up a recurring cadence with the customer to understand their business problems. The sales rep will promise the world and say, look, this is what you're gonna do, let's go solve it. And when it actually gets down to it, let's implement and let's operate the program over time. The role of the customer success representative is essentially to ensure the customer feels like they are recognizing the value they wanted out of the software package and also to proactively position where are the other areas that they can evolve their license, evolve their program over time. And that's why it's so important having a great customer success function. Retention ultimately is a metric that most Wall Street analysts look at when evaluating software companies. As you look at your career today, a career in sales will be more lucrative than customer success, but there will be more pressure associated with it. So ask yourself based on your skill set today, ask yourself based on what you desire on a day-to-day -day basis and the type of work you want to engage in. Sales, customer success, both are incredibly viable for a long-term successful sustained career in technology. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a like on the video now. Let me know down in the comments what questions can I help answer and what other software sales related videos would you like to see. Of course, subscribe to the channel for more sales videos and connect with me on LinkedIn to join networks. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.